And now the Nigerian Midstream and Downstream Petroleum Regulatory Authority has disclosed that the Dangote Refinery has not been licensed to begin operations in the country. Chief Executive Officer of the NMTRPA, Mr. Farouk Ahmed, made this known while speaking with journalists at the sit house in Abuja. According to Mr. Ahmed, the claims of ongoing effort to cut the operations of Dangote Refinery due to lack of supply of crude oil by international oil companies were not true, adding that the refinery was still at the pre-commissioning stage and has not been licensed yet. Um, just uh, like you rightly asked, there are a lot of concerns about uh, uh, supply of petroleum products nationwide and the claims by some media houses that uh, were trying to scuttle Dangote Refinery, that is not so. Dangote Refinery is still in the pre-commissioning stage. It has not been lessened yet. We haven't lessened them yet. They are still in pre-commissioning. I think they are about 45% completed, complete, in completion rather. So we cannot rely heavily on one refinery to feed the nation because the is, Dangote is requesting that we should suspend or stop all importation of petroleum products, especially AGO and Jet Kero, and direct all marketers to, to the refinery. That is not good for the nation in terms of energy security, and that is not good for markets because of uh, monopoly. So in terms of quality, uh, currently the AGO quality in terms of sulfur is the lowest and far as uh, West African requirement of 50 ppm. Dangote refinery, as well as some modular refineries, like uh, Walter Smith's refinery, Arida refinery, they are produced between 650 to 1,200 ppm. So in terms of quality, their quality is much, much inferior to the imported quality. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Away from there, our Manufacturers Association of Nigeria has commended President Bola Tinubu for achieving the breakthrough on the long-awaited uh, minimum wage for Nigerian workers. Director General of the Association, Mr. Shegun Ajayi Kadri, made the commended decision while reacting to the 70,000 minimum wage agreement by President Tinubu and leaders of labor unions in Abuja. The President, uh, uh, beg your pardon, President Tinubu also promised that the minimum wage will be revealed after three years. The Mount DG stated that manufacturers look forward to the promised assistance while urging the private sector to hold on to the President's promise in regards to enable the private sector on board the agreement.